हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सेशंस सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी विल लर्न द एस एम लैंग्वेज प्रोग्रामिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एट जीरो एट फाइव टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट विद डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शंस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शंस वी मस्ट ऑल्सो नो वॉट आर द रजिस्टर्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन एट जीरो एट फाइव सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम वी कैन सी द वेरियस रजिस्टर्स दिस इज रजिस्टर ए I'm just circling. This is register A. Now this register is of 8 bit, or we can say it is one byte. So a, register A can store one one byte or 8 bit of data. Similarly, register B, C, D, E, H, L. All these registers are of 8 bit. Then we have a stack pointer, which is 16 bit register, and this is program counter. This is also 16 bit register. and then this fl is a flag is the flag register this flag register is also of 8 bit but uh, we consider the flags individually and here this you can see the flag register is separately given here and we'll consider this flag separately because uh, they have this every flag it has has its own significance has its own importance so as we can see there are five flags the carry flag the parity flag auxiliary carry Zero and sign. These are the five flags which are available in 8085 microprocessor. And when we do this uh, uh, arithmetic and logic operations, then we'll see what, how do they change. So these are these are the flags. Let us see now some uh, two instructions we'll study in this session. One is MVI and other is move. So the first instruction is MVI R 8 bit. Now this R can be any register which we saw previously. Uh, A B C D E H L. This is not for program counter or stack pointer, but the seven registers A B C D E H L. Now this is a two byte instruction. It stores the eight bit data in the specified register. Whatever register we specify, the data is stored in that that eight bit data is stored in that particular register. Then uh, we have move R D comma R S. In this case, RD is the destination register and RS is the source register. This is a one byte instruction. Now, in this, using this instruction, we can store the data from any register to any other register. Now, let us see the animation of few of the instructions. So, in this case, uh, we are we are considering six instructions: MVI A twelve H, MVI B thirteen H, MVI C seven A H. Now, this H means this is an hexadecimal data. then we next instruction move d comma a move h comma b move e comma c now let us see the animation how it works so i just run the animation as we can see the first when the first instruction is executed by the microprocessor the data 12h it gets stored in register a so this is how the data is stored in the in, in, due to the first instruction now the second instruction mvib so this will store the data 13 in register b and then when the in the third instruction mvic data 7a now in this case actually you must see that this data is hexadecimal so it can have anything from 0 to 9 and then a to f so 7a is a data it gets stored in register c then the next instruction move d comma a now because of this the data from a it gets transferred to d and the data in a remains as it is as you can see in this case Uh, from 12 to uh, this 12 it's getting transferred then in the, the next instruction move h comma b the data from b gets transferred to h and then move e comma so the data in this case will uh, flow from or we can say transfers from c to e okay and then one more thing we can see here is that uh, the contents of the flag register they are they, they are not changing in uh, as you can see or the contents of sign uh, all the reflags zero it remains 0000 zero, 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 zero. because uh, in any data transfer operation the flags do not change so your carry flag parity all the flags they remain as they are okay so this is uh, regarding the very few just two instructions mvi and move due by, by which we can actually store the data okay thanks for watching